<coughs> Woo! What's going on? What's up everybody? My name is Brandon Thrasher. Welcome. Come on in the garage. Have a seat. Get comfortable. Let's talk. Let's have a chat, right? Uh, another unboxing. Um, this time though, guys, you're going to see something a little bit different on the channel. Again, as I've explained before, oh, neck knife opening. This is the opening knife. As I've explained before, by the way, this is a sea snake. This thing is pretty freaking awesome, really. Uh, Mike Emler design. Mike Emler has a channel. I'll link it below. This thing's awesome. Anyway, I got a. As I've said, I enjoy knives, and I don't just enjoy uh, folders, even though I, I do really like folders, but I also like fixed blades. Uh, I'm into small ones right now. I'm, um, <laughs> that thing's sharp. I love it. And, uh, you know, I'm into to traditionals and autos, certain autos. I, I'm not a big OTF guy, um, but I, I do like checking them out. I like handling them. I like handling everything. I like checking everything out if I can. So, with that being said, this knife here, because it is a knife, you guys might recognize if you're into it, but this is a Rough Rider Copper Edition. They have different uh, they have different editions like Easy Money and Copper and I'm not big on Copper but I actually love the looks of this knife so I thought I'm going Copper and so that's the box it is a Rough Rider Copper and I don't know if it tells you on here it gives you the number this is RR1587 And I really like the looks of it. Oh, the box is magnetic. That's even better. The, the knife is nicely put in there. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, really. For such a very budgety, easy, anybody can afford knives. Now, not everybody likes this design. I do. I do. And it's not pot, what I call pocket friendly, but I do like the design. And, uh, so, this is a hawkbill knife, and it is beautiful, it really is, very beautiful. Uh, copper bolster, copper uh, Rough Rider logo, it's got copper pins, it's like this, um, uh, not, not a whole lot of information with it, but the, the blade is coated. Um, but I, I really like the kind of sway in the handle and the uh, the style of blade. Uh, it's very utilitarian for certain things. Uh, most people would not like this in their pocket. Uh, it's not really going to bother me. I just the hawkbill is more of a knife that I kind of collect. I really like the the hawkbill shape. Um, it is it is utilitarian. It is sharp. Um, I don't really have. Uh, I got an envelope here. Yeah, it's 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 sharp, guys. Like, it, it'll hurt you. It's a slip joint, so you know you don't want to put massive pressure back here. But the pull isn't bad. This is what us old guys call the walk and talk, right? So the walk, the talk. And that half stop is pretty pronounced. It's not bad. Um, the pull, uh, I give it about a four. It's not real. It's not real strong to the half stop. It's actually, I would say, it's stronger off of the open to the half. But I'm going to say that's about a four. Uh, I really like it. It's like an ebony kind of look it looks like a dark ebony kind of look um i know a lot of you guys are not going to be into slip joints probably and probably not into the hawk bill 
Um, I really like the Hawkbill. I always have. It's just cool looking to me. It's more of a, a collector thing for me. It is a user though. I mean, you could easily, you know, but I mean, you get awesome Rough Rider. They give you awesome quality, man. Like they really do. They give you pretty damn good quality for, I think I just under 16 bucks you know what I mean like I'm not a huge copper guy but it does look beautiful with this like this dark um, I don't even know if that's really wood because it's it's got a heavy coating on it but you know it's, it looks beautiful um, the liners look great the back spring looks great there might be a, a little and I mean very little bit of gap right there uh, other than that, man, th this is this is a fantastic looking knife. Just crazy, okay? Hawkbill is crazy, but I like crazy sometimes, right? And, you know, it is comfortable. It's very comfortable. Uh, just my thing, man. A little crazy occasionally, and I do like slip joint. Anyway, guys, this is the Rough Rider uh, Copper Series Hawkbill. I did give you the number once, but I'll give it to you again. It is the RR1587. It sells for about just under $16, like $15.60 something or $70 something or something like that. Great knife, man. Great knife. I really like it. Um, of course, I got to carry it, let you guys know what I think. Um, first slip joint for you guys on the channel. I think it's pretty awesome. I'll check. I'm gonna. I'm gonna like checking it out. Anyway, guys, uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. Um, you know, no, I'm not gonna continue wearing this as a neck knife. I just did it to try it out. I am going to set this up in a Penix carry because uh, it's so small. I think I'll like it, and I love the blade shape. Anyway, guys, uh, get out there. Do something positive for yourself. Do something positive for somebody else. Make yourself happy. Make somebody else happy. And uh, I hope to catch you in the next one.